OK, Freddie, so what does it mean to you to take charge of Arsenal Football Club? Yeah, it's a great, great honour. Um, I want to do as well as I can for this fantastic club. And uh, that's what I feel today. I feel excitement and uh, try to do a good job. Of course, you've been working with the first team players all season anyway, um, and you had a meeting with them yesterday. What was your main message to them? No, I think what I say in the dressing room always stays there. But in general terms, I, uh, I think we have some, have some great players. Of course, we've had uh, some problems. Obviously, we haven't had some, some results, and uh, that's what we're going to try to, to address. Uh, but uh, how we address that, I'm probably going to keep that to myself. And you've been on the bench, of course, this season. We've seen your passion at times, especially, I'm thinking of at Sheffield United earlier this season. So can we expect to see a, an animated presence on the bench? Yeah, of course. I think uh, I get uh, involved in the game. That's uh, who I am. But at the same time, I try to then step back and analyse the games and stuff. So it depends a little bit. It's, uh, it can be a calm man and it can be not so calm man. So it depends. And what about your team around you? Who would be your assistants? So that's something I will uh, work on a little bit and uh, we'll let you know when uh, we feel we're ready. And you, for you personally, is this something that you might want to do permanently? Is this a, a trial for you to take the job? No, I mean, at the moment it's about the future of the football club. And I'm here to help the club as much as I possibly can. Uh, try to get a good atmosphere around the club with the support and everything. That's what I'm focusing at the moment and uh, then we'll see. And you've had experience before, I'm thinking of at Wolfsburg as assistant as well, six months there in Germany. What did you learn during that time? That every manager is different. Um, different routines, different things, different ways they handle players, exercises, what I think important and how they plan things. So for me, all those things are just learning points. That's what I've been trying to do my, how to say, my coaching life at least, just to get points here and there. And uh, of course, Bundesliga is a different football, so then you learn, okay, what the culture is from, from that country and uh, what they think is important. So it's just, uh, how do you say, knowledge in the bank. And now the aim for us is obviously to move up the table and, as you say, get a good feel-good factor again around the club. But what's your immediate priority as head coach? What are the short-term changes you're going to make? No, I try to, um, of course, the small things will change. I'm not going to do anything radical. I don't think that's the best thing to do, to just go and smash things up. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm quite clear what I think I want to try. At the same time, we have one training session until the game tomorrow. So you have to be, uh, in my opinion, intelligent what you try to change and not, uh, because it needs to stick as well. And last season, you were in charge of Arsenal under-23s, finished second in the Premier League 2. Um, so how would you describe your approach to the game as a coach? I'm, I'm, uh been in Arsenal for a long, long, long time and uh, I like entertaining football. Um, of course, at the same time, you can't concede goals, so that's a, a, a tricky um, balance to find. Um, I think, for me, happy footballers play the best football, so that's a part that I've learned as well when I was a player, that there is a time to work hard, but then at the same time we need to enjoy what we're doing and uh, often the players we have, they enjoy playing a bit offensive football and make them more happy. Yeah, because your team scored 48 goals in 22 league games last season. So you obviously like attacking football. Do you think you're going to be a similar style of coach as you were to a player? We remember you as, a, as an attacking player. Hey, we'll see, but I think if we looked in 2019, I remember some stats as well. I think we kept a clean sheet out of five games out of nine. So we tried to defend as well, but uh, there's different ways of doing it. So you arrived as a player more than 20 years ago. You know the club, you know Arsenal so well. How important do you think that experience is going to be for you now? It's a game tomorrow, but I think I, I hope I have the values of the club. I understand uh, the club. I, I hope, I think, from the inside. So I think that gives me a, a help, 100%. Um, I, I feel I have Arsenal uh, been here for 20 years, so it's, it's very special to me. That's why I'm saying it's an honour to do this. And when the club asked me to help them, like, of course, I said, that's uh, a given. I'll try to help the club as much as they, uh, they need. And then we'll see from there. And as you said, not much time to think about this first game. It's tomorrow away at Norwich. What's your message to the Arsenal fans? They're amazing fans. They are, and we, we need them. The players need them. Um, and that's the main thing that I, that I can t sell to them. Uh, we as players and, and staff and coaching staff will do everything we can to make them happy. Uh, but just uh, enjoy the game. 
and finally you've always had a, a great connection with those fans that you talk about, always been a fan's favourite. How confident are you that you can get that feel-good factor and that positive feeling back around the club? Of course I'm confident, otherwise I wouldn't uh, take in the door when they asked me to help. If I didn't feel I could help them, I wouldn't have done it. So, of course I'm confident in that way. And um, I really feel that this club we can all bring together and uh, put some smiles on people's faces again.